all want to welcome you to Mara County. The greatest thing that ever come to Mara County, Sarah Calhoun. We never had a gathering like this in Mara County since we struck gold in Diamond City. Is there anybody else who understands? We're all just trying to find some value in our work and our lives, really. Like, what are we doing all this for? People want to be part of something good and worthwhile and positive. The Red Ants Pants Foundation is funded by our music festival fully. It's really fun to be able to have a party in a cow pasture and then give some money away to worthwhile projects across the state. That first year, none of us knew what to expect. We literally ended up buying out the entire toilet paper supply across three counties. This past year, we had 16,000 attendees to our town of 900 people. That emotional experience that goes on between the music and the sunsets and the wind and the crowd. We're using music as a very powerful tool to bring people together, and that's the kind of stuff that's worthwhile in my mind. We wrote our mission statement in our 10th year. You know, you're supposed to do it at the beginning. We came up with the statement, which is, we provide workwear for women, for the makers and the growers, the builders and the doers. And we support them with humor and heart, quality and class, integrity and courage, always. Are the things you buy? I needed a pair of pants that fit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that was my, this, this whole business came out of necessity. I did not want to be in business. I grew up on a farm in rural Connecticut. I spent about five years leading trail crews all across the country. And in that time, I got pretty fed up with not finding any pants that fit. You end up wearing men's pants because that's all that was available at the time. One guy said, if you're serious about it, why don't you start your own company? So at the age of 25, I very naively said to myself, start a business, how hard could that be? <laughs> and little did I know. After my last trail crew, I decided to move to Montana. I had never been here. I had just read Ivan Doig's book about growing up here in White Sulphur Springs. It sounded like a good place to be, so I came to visit one time, found this old saddle shop for sale, and moved up here. The sunset sets that stone aglow. I started volunteering as an EMT with the ambulance and coach volleyball and worked through the Arts Council and the Chamber and all that just to get to know the town and to have something to do. Sooner or later, they were like, oh, all right, I think she's, she's all right, you know? <laughs> and I felt pretty welcomed in. From a wall of solid granite. It took a full two years before we got into production and opened the doors. A lot of learning how to source textiles, do all the contract cut and sew, which everything's made in the U.S. I had the doors open to the international headquarters of Red Ants Pants. And now I have pants that fit. <laughs> Integrity is number one, like if we're not treating our customers well and treating our employees well and treating our community well on a broader spectrum, then we shouldn't be in business. They say that, oh, it's business, it's not personal. I think it should be personal. We treat people so much better when we know them and we know their story. So I think we need to do more of that. The success of a business should not be just determined by how quickly have you made how much money? I mean, that's what's gotten us to where we are right now. And why do businesses have to be huge? Let's celebrate the small businesses where you still have relationships with your customers, with your vendors, with your suppliers, with your town. There's a lot more strength in that long term. Everything in this journey thus far, it's allowed me to figure out what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. The reality is the pants company is going to continue and it's going to exist and we'll keep putting out great new products. My skill set is not 
sales and manufacturing and running a business. Even with the festival now that we've kind of got that dialed in and that will certainly continue and be well sustained, I'm ready for the next challenge, the next idea. I want to have my focus turned more towards the foundation. I think there's so much potential there. We have a Red Ant grant program every spring where we take proceeds from the festival and give money directly to individuals and organizations who have projects that parallel our mission. Women's leadership, working family farms and ranches and rural communities. All the things that I really value and find important. We've given away $65,000 now. It's starting to build momentum in ways that I wouldn't have expected. Gives you a lot of hope. The line just keeps going through my head that there is strength in our togetherness. When we all work together on a larger, really big project, like a music festival, like who would think we could pull that off in a town of 900? But when everyone pitches in and works really hard towards a common goal, it just, it happens. Just remembering that little lesson on the broader scheme of the world, it's gonna be much more powerful and impactful. It always comes down to Calhoun, you have a gift and you have a voice and people are listening and you need to use it more than I am now. There's not a large gap between kind of the introverted Sarah and the extroverted Sarah. My work is just an extension of these ideas. The dreams don't come easy. I think about these things and I feel these things all the time. People recognize that it, it is real and true and who I am. I think the honesty carries through. That's my hope anyway. streams and the air is clean. Money don't mean everything. I think our circumstances in our world are gonna change and, and I think we're gonna need really strong leaders. I often find myself writing down how lucky I am to have such good people around. What really draws me to White Sulphur in particular is that it's, there's a lot of wind and grit out here and it's not as easy and lovely as it is portrayed, but that almost makes it more worthwhile to me. White Sulphur Springs. Within these places, I think the human spirit is exemplified in ways that we don't see everywhere. And that is what's truly important. <laughs>